when we went into foster care, um, and you know, we were we were living with, with the white people. Like they don't get their they hair cut as often as black people do because our hair grows so fast. We were going to the barber shop maybe once a month. And that was before they really understood like, okay, we gotta get these guys to the barber shop more often because their hair is growing. But I told Karen, I said, hey, maybe if you just give me some clippers, I can try to, you know, just kind of maintain me and my brother in between haircuts. And she said, you know what? That's not a bad idea. You know, well, do you know what you're doing? I said, I'll figure it out. So she went, got me some clippers. I was you know just trying to give myself an edge up and for a long time I was messing myself up once I got in like high school I was getting pretty decent at it so I started edging my brother up and then I was edging up members on a basketball team and things like that so it really started out as more of a hobby than anything but now I'm a full-time barber and I love what I do and I have to thank Karen I have to thank my foster parent because she is the first person who put the clippers in my hand I think about what we put them through, them having to go and sit in black barber shops and wait two hours, three hours just to get a haircut. And it's just little small stuff like that that they sacrifice. And it's just like, you know what, man? These are two incredible people. And I thank them every chance that I get. There's no telling what type of futures we would have had. That just goes to show that foster care can be a successful part of your future. The foster care system is very necessary. It saved my life.